Hi, I am Dr. Kitty and Kavita. Today we are discussing about the business statistics topics, scope uh, limitations of statistics. Yes, scope and limitations of statistics. Here we discuss the importance, scope and the limitations of statistics. The scope of statistics was limited in ancient times as the government used statistics for the purpose of administration only. Gradually the subject become more and more popular and its application has become more extensive. Now is hardly any field of human activity where statistics are not used. Now is used by economist, businessmen, scientist, administrator and etc etc. What is the scope of statistics? Scope of statistics are having four statistics who help in economic planning, statistics in help in business and management, it will help in administration and it will be very helpful in research too. What is the help in economic planning? All economic plans of a formulated on the basis of statistical data. The success of the plan is also evaluated with the help of statistics. Economic problems such as production, consumption, wages, price profit, unemployment, poverty etc etc can be expressed numerically using statistics only. What is the next? The second one, statistics in business and management, how it will be helpful. Statistics are very useful in businessmen. It helps businessmen in formulation of policies regarding business and forecasting future trends. So according to the future trends, they decide their uh, way, way of business. Okay. So what is the next one? The third one, statistics in administration. Efficient administration cannot be pursued without statistics. Statistics have been used from the time of origin of statistics to collect information regarding the military and fiscal policies. Statistics in research is the last one. The statistical methods are extensively used in every type of research work, whether it is agriculture, health or social science. The statistics help in carrying out different types of researches. So what is the importance of statistics? Statistics and planning is used to planning and in economics, in business, in industry, in modern sciences, in psychology and education, in war and in mathematics. It will be very very useful to us. How we can talk about the statistics and the planning now. Here in the statistics and planning, statistics is indispensable in planning in the modern age which is termed as the age of planning at almost all over the world the government are restoring to planning of economic development the second one statistics and economics statistical data and techniques of statistical analysis have to immensely useful in involving economical problem such as wages price time series analysis demand analysis everything the third one is statistics and business statistics is an irresponsible tool for production control business executive are re relying more and more on statistical techniques for studying the much and desire of the valued customer what is the fourth one statistics and industry in industries, statistics are widely used in quality control, in production engineering to find out whether the production is conforming to the specifications or not. 
statistical tools such as inspection plan control chart etc etc so the next one is statistics and mathematics statistics are intimately related recent advancements in statistical techniques are the outcome of wide applications of mathematics and the next one math statistics and the modern sciences that we forget uh, in mathematical sciences the statistical tools for collection presentation and analysis of observed facts relating to cause of incidence of disease and the result of application various drugs and medicines are of great importance statistics how we can use in psychology and education in education and psychology statistics has found wide application such as determining or to determine the reliability and validity of a test factor analysis etc how can we use in war yes in war the theory of decision function can be a great assistance of military and personal to plan for maximum destruction with the minimum effort maximum destruction with the minimum effort we use in war situation okay so what is what are the limitations of statistics we will discuss next what are the limitations statistics is unable to explain individual item how yes the statistical statistics always study a group of values instead of single observation studies the mass of phenomena and the conclusion of certain characteristic obtained for example to the study of income of one worker of a company is statistics but the study of incomes of 50 workers of the company form statistics in other words the monthly income of rupees 1000 workers do not constitute statistics but average income of 1000 of group of workers of a company forms statistics so what is the next one statistics are unable to study qualitative character yes in general statistics studies only quantitative characters of the given problem instead of qualitative the problems which can not be studied quantitatively in numerical form such as poverty leadership beauty intelligence honesty etc are not directly studied in statistics only in the numerical form this is a limitation of this statistics okay what is the third one statistical results are not accurately correct yes there are only a few results that are accurately correct in statistics and almost all are only approximately correct in other words yes 100% accuracy is impossible in statistical work because statistical laws are based on average so what is the fourth one statistics deal with average yes statistics deal with averages that are obtained from different individual items the laws of statistics are true only on average statistics is only one of the methods of studying a given problem this is our fifth condition yes the best solution under all conditions of the given problem is not by by the statistical method statistics cannot be of main much help in studying the provided problem like a country's culture religion and philosophy unless they are supplemented by other evidence okay what is the sixth one statistics is liable to be misused yeah the greatest limitation of statistical science is that it can be misused the only one who has expert knowledge of statistical methods can scientifically handle statistical data 
statistical methods if misused by in component incompetent unskilled and an inexperienced person it may lead to false conclusions so what is the next one qualitative aspects ignored yeah the statistical methods don't study the nature of phenomena which cannot be expressed in quantitative terms such a phenomena cannot be a part of the study of statistics and these include health riches intelligence etc richness intelligence etc it needs the conversion of qualitative and data into the quantitative one okay so what is the next one too many methods to study problem yes this this is in the subject we use so many methods to find a single result variation can be found by quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation and results vary in each cases this is the example okay so what is the next one results are true only on average as discussed above here the results are interpolated for which time series or regression or probability can be used there are not absolutely true so suppose if the average of two sections of students in statistics is the same it does not mean that all the 50 students are section section a has got the same mark as in section b there may be many variations between the two so we got average result okay so what is the next one last one statistical laws are not exact yeah statistical laws are not exact as in the case of natural sciences these laws are true only on average they hold good under certain condition they cannot be universally applied so statistics have less practical utility these above are the scope and limitations of statistics which is very important and we also learned about the importance of statistics above okay so i want to thank you for your listening thanks we will need meet in the next video okay see you bye